Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be starting a new art journal which I'm going to be making out of an old catalogue. So first of all, I've stuck two pages together with my matte medium. It's quite a nice catalogue because it's got quotes on the back of the pages. And the front of the page, I'm going to use my white gesso to prime it. I end up actually doing two layers of gesso to block out the pictures behind and then I use my distress paints. When I first started this page I used my brayer but I didn't like the way it came out so I'm now just going to use my two colours of distress paint which is wilted violet and picked raspberry I think and I'm just going to blend the two together. It doesn't really show the true colours on the video. Once the paint has all dried, I then use my Paper Artsy Stamps EEG 13, and I'm going to use my black archival ink and I'm going to stamp the image onto my page. I then stamp the image again onto some scrap paper to make a mask. So first of all, I am adding a piece of paper to my heart so that I can stamp on the inside of my heart without it going over the edges of the heart. And I'm going to use the Paper Artsy Stamps ETS04. So this is what my heart looks like now. I am then going to use a mask over the top of the heart so that I can stamp more images around the outside. For the next lot of stamping, I'm going to use my Paper Artsy Stamps Jofi 31. So this can be quite a long process. What I'm doing is stamping an image, stamping it again on scrap paper, cutting that out, sticking it over the top of the image I just stamped and carrying on like this. So I will just show you a little bit and then skip to the end. Once I have finished all the stamping, I then remove the mask and hopefully in a second I will hold it up so you can see it. There you go. So the swell images are a bit broken up, but that's okay. I can use my pen to go over the top of these a bit later. So I'm now just giving it a quick dry with my heat tool to heat set the ink. I am now going to use a few different pens. I am using my uni pen fine line and my food ball pen. I'm using the fine line one because obviously some of the lines are a lot thinner than others. So here is just a catch up to see what I've done. As you can see the bottom swell is a lot thicker than the top one. I am now going to use my paper artsy stamps again EEG 13. For the quote and I'm using my black archival ink I'm now using the ETS 04 paper artsy stamps again and I'm going to use the little swirls no I'm not I'm going to use the big hearts I forgot I did that but never mind I 
I'm also going to use EEG 15 Paper Artsy Stamps. So I won't bore you again with all the stamping around the edge, I'll just skip to the end. So that is all my stamping done. I'm now going to use my white Uniball Signo pen to add some highlights to my picture. And there you go, I've added the highlights just like magic. And that is the end of this page. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.